Hello everyone, this is Mr. KotorX, and as you know, this game that I am now currently playing is Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. This will be my first solo Let's Play on this channel, so let's just jump right into it. I hope everything sounds good, because, um, I'm not gonna mess with the settings much. God, that did not sound right. Give me one moment, I might have to set, uh, mess up with the settings a bit. There we go. Alright, the first turnabout. The only turnabout. Gotta admit, I really do love the music in this game. Sorry if it's a bit laggy, um, but yeah, it's how it is. It's laggy on my end, may not be on your end. I don't know. It's not horribly, horribly laggy for me. I at one point had it set up so where it was like really smooth and I forgot how to do that. Well, you know, you could just run, you got gloves on. Yep. We don't know who he's framing it on. Well, I know who he's framing it on. Is he Indian because he's got that little dot on his forehead? Oh, okay. Well, I'm not editing that out. <laughs> but, well, now I'm... Uh, apparently everyone's gonna think I'm a racist. That would be two days before my mother's birthday, actually. Oh. And apparently I was not clicked on the uh, thing. I had to click twice. Oh, I would be too. This is our first turnabout, so that means it's probably our first case. Hey, Chief. Well, of course. Not everyone takes a thing off the bat. What does this do? Oh, well, the sound is getting picked up. If it's not, I'm sorry. Um, I'll fiddle with things later to get it to work, but it should be picking up fine. I might have to redo this entire recording later on, but eh, if I have to, I have to. Well, that would mean why I owed him. Well, it's always good to know who, why you... I, I think that's later on explained in the game as to why you owe him your job, but not exactly. Um, but this, believe it or not, this actually is not my favorite case in the game. It's one of the easiest ones, but it's not my favorite. Uh, my favorite one's actually the one that comes up immediately after this one. I love the next one. The hardest one, I think, is... It, 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 I think it's the third or fourth one. Wow. Dude. Get over yourself. Meet Larry Butts. He'll come in handy quite a few times. Well, if you want me to. Eh, uh, don't mind. Oh, well, I guess we gotta try and save him. But thou must. Yeah, you're kind of alive right now, so apparently you can. Oh, the newspaper says it was you, my friend. Yeah, the newspaper says you did it. But I believe you're innocent. You just have bad, bad luck. Um, I don't know if blood would actually do that. Well, I guess in a wood floor, yeah, it kind of would. Um, I'm not entirely sure on that. Don't quote me. Please don't. Yeah. 
Honestly, I can't say I've known anyone since grade school that I still hang out with. Well, I guess technically this is Japanese culture, so... Yeah, see, he's got terrible, terrible luck. Oh, gosh. Um, I don't know the answer to all of this game's puzzles. I know most of them, and some of them I can figure out. I've never actually completed this game. I have completed the other games. I've completed the second one, and I think the third one, maybe. Yeah, I've completed the third one. Um, but it's been a while since I've completed the third one. Um, but I've never completed this one. There's a certain case I always get stuck on. Um, also, I like this guy. Um, <laughs> um, I, I just like the judge. I think he looks cool. I love his beard. Yes, yes it is. sound is a bit laggy, so, I mean, I'm getting, like, this really choppy version of it. If you guys are, um, after this episode, I will turn off the, uh, this, the, the music and the sound. Um, I'll do more commentary if I have the sound and the music turned off, and I'll talk. Oh, don't worry, I won't leave you guys, uh, completely, totally bored. I'll think of something to keep you entertained. My sight fading. <laughs> okay, okay. A few simple questions. Um, I think he's gonna answer them. I think the questions are like the name of the defendant in the case. That would be Larry Butts. The defendant is the person who's saying they didn't do it. Yeah. The, that's the person who I'm defending is. Because I'm the defense attorney, I'm defending the defendant. So. This is the murder trial. Tell me what was the victim's name. Um, believe it or not, this isn't an action. Uh, the... In actual, uh, in actual court cases, they don't have to have everything memorized. They do have to have basically kind of like the summary of it, but they do have what's known as like a case file and all that that they have with them. So, like they might, so that way you know they can always like say like, oh yeah, I have this. It's like, but they may not remember everything that's in the case file, like every tiny little detail. They don't need to because they always have their stuff with them. They have it in either a briefcase or, like, actually files. Uh, my brother used to be a uh, prosecuting attorney, actually. Uh, so I, I do know a little bit of what I'm talking about. This is one reason why I like these games is because I always pictured that, you know, well, me and him going back and forth. Let's hear your answer. Who is the victim of the case? Okay. So, um, I know the answer. But just to show you guys, we'll go here. And her name is Cindy. So we know that it's Cindy's autopsy. So we'll go back. As you can see, there's only one name BFA Cinder Block. C uh, uh, Cinder Block and Sandy Stone. The answer is Sandy St uh, Cindy Stone. Again, in the court record, if you looked, it said, uh, cause of death due to blunt trauma, or blunt force trauma, is actually what it would say in an actual case. So, she was a blunt object. This won't be the only DS game I do. Uh, I will do others. 
I absolutely love doing DS games. Uh, although I don't actually own a DS myself. I uh, probably shouldn't have said that on YouTube. Oh well! <laughs> I would have loved to have had one when I was younger though. But I got a PSP. I might do some PSP games. Examination. That's what she's talking about. Uh oh. Larry gets ex excited. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, this is gonna be bad. <laughs> I don't know why I love the way he's standing there. I really do. I love them. Uh, I think it was this is actually really a crucial piece of evidence right here, and it's given to you so early. It, it's really weird how this is given to you like so early in the case that it's just weird. It's like without that, I don't think you can solve this entire thing. Okay, that's something I don't get. She's a model, but she didn't have a large income. Models have fairly large incomes. At least the models I know about. But whatever. Sugar daddy. Oh, that is sugar. There's <laughs> older man here. <laughs> yeah, usually that means she's probably sleeping around. Uh, maybe a good thing to just Yeah, that wouldn't have been a relevant thing because that would have been brought up as we know he didn't know, so. He didn't know she had other men, if she did. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, 
we need him to answer honestly. Those are some interesting symbols. Uh, signals. That doesn't mean that he did it, though, just because he went there. Witnesses? The guy who find the, found the body just before making a gruesome discovery. gotta try and pick apart the lies. The horrible, horrible lies. Hold on. Uh, ho hold on just one second, people. I'm sorry about this. I really am. There we go. That should make it go a bit faster. There we go. I think that's a little bit faster. No, she's dead without... I mean, I can lay completely still. Oh, there we go. However, the phone in her apartment wasn't working. I went to a nearby park and found a public phone. I can't remember the time exactly. It was 1 p.m. The man who ran... If... You like, that's something pretty s suspicious, though, the fact that he knows for a fact it was 1 p.m. Yeah, seriously. Aren't phones supposed to work? Yeah, that is true, but cordless phones don't. Yeah, I see some cordless phone. Not some, all. I've never seen a cordless phone that worked during uh, a blackout. I've never seen a cordless phone work in a blackout. I should know. I, I almost always use cordless phones. So, yeah, that, that that's a thing I always do. Um... It's still a little bit laggy for me, so I might have to fix that up. Oh, he lied, sort of. Yep. Okay. 
first off, just want to say one thing. Uh, uh, electricity to Miss Stone's building was out from noon to 6 p.m. Now remember that. It's noon to 6 p.m. Because that comes in handy. Once you found a contradiction, uh, contradiction of it, present it and rub it in the witness's face. I wish you could actually do that. Just like walk up to him, just rub it right in his actual face. Oh, and this, uh, I think in this game, that's the last time we actually see, what's his name? Okay, he was going to door-to-door -door selling subscriptions when he saw a man fleeing an apartment. I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open. Thinking it was strange, I looked inside the apartment. So far, no contradictions. I'm going to press this one. Okay, so, there you go. Just kind of going over what an actual attorney would do. I qua uh, quailed in fright. I, I, I don't know what quailed means. I guess yelled. Found myself unable to go inside. I thought to call the police immediately. However, the phone in her apartment wasn't working. Wait. See, he didn't go into the apartment, but... Okay. So, yeah. It's like, j I'm just going through the things. Went to a nearby far phone. I remember the time exactly. It was 1 p.m. This is what you need to press. How does he know? That's awful specific. There is actually some evidence that will contradict him. Now, here's the thing. See, here's the thing. <clears throat> the victim apparently arrived home on Paris on 7.30 the day before the murder. That's not the bit that we need. No, what we need is this. Look at the time she died, 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. If it was 1 p.m. when she died, how is that right? There's your contradiction, people. Present it. <laughs> oh, that's weird. So do I. Yep, see, as we're saying right now, then autopsy notes, so the time of death is after 4 p.m. There was no body to, er, no body to find at 1 p.m. How do you explain this three-hour gap? Well, it's not a three-hour gap, actually. No, it's not.
got a pop-up that just came up in my uh, window, and I don't want to click on it. Because <laughs> like, I, I don't know if it will record my pop-up or not. Uh-oh, now he remembers something. So let's see what he remembers. Let's, no, it's not going to. When he found the body, he heard the time. There was a voice saying that the time was 1 p.m. Um. Huh. Well, I guess that explains it. Or does it? You just dug your own grave. Because, remember, there was a blackout at her apartment until 6 p.m. The body wasn't found until 4 p.m. So, how did he... He heard the time. The voice was saying the time. It was... Now, it's either a video of a taped programming... But I'm thinking it's this one. I don't remember all of the right answers, but voice saying it was probably coming from the television. This is where you want to, because, there. Now, if you see something in the corner here, then you got it wrong. But I got it right. Yep, the prosecution themselves said that there was a blackout at the time of the discovery. And they even gave us a record to prove it. Yeah, seriously. Oh, he's the one who did it. <sighs> Come on. Hearing the time. Now, he's not wrong. He did hear the time. It's just he's not right about how he heard it. <sighs> Wait. That wasn't right. Murder weapon's not a clock. It's a statue. I mean, you idiot! No judge would... Ah, uh, God. This is going to be a little bit of a long episode, guys. Sorry. Um, I promise I won't do very many long episodes like this. Uh, but this is the first episode, and we're getting into it, so... Uh, yeah, he says he saw it. There may have been. Mary Whip. murder weapon. That's this statue. That's not a clock. See? <laughs> it's what... 
that's what that's what they do. Awful weird looking clock. Why would you do that? I do, because there's... F how would anyone guess that that's a freaking clock? Yeah, see, he never entered, but yet he apparently knew that was a clock. Went into the apartment. I'll do better than that. I can prove you were the one who killed her. See? Yeah, that, that actually is about right, too. And this is the picture that we had from earlier. So we know we know he was the one who did it, but yeah, what can you do? I hate the fact that they kind of ruin who it was that killed them in some cases. In some cases they don't, in some they do. But this one, yeah, they kind of ruined who the murderer was. In others, they don't. They make you think it's someone else when it really isn't. Oh, gosh. No, it isn't. It's completely baseful. Base. Yeah, seriously, he's not good at poker. <laughs> Care to elaborate? Did you strike the victim with the clock? And we got him. Ew. <clears throat> that, wow. Would have been funny if it hit the other guy. <laughs> I always thought that was hilarious. Well, I guess I'm going to break my promise of this being longer than 35 minutes. But, yeah, what can you do? What can you do? Evidence? This clock. In fact... Try sounding the clock. Yep. Beep. I think it's eight twenty five. Well, it is the thinker. But <laughs> Yeah. So there's that. Yep, we've heard the clock. What are our conclusions? Now, it's one. It's eleven twenty-five. Uh, 
Aha. Uh, not really. Yeah, let's see you talk your way out of this one. And I'm probably going to have to get off here to go to dinner soon. Speaking of which, it's actually 4.37 here. <laughs> oh, wow. This is going to be take forever to upload on YouTube. I just saw how much... How much... Um, how big this file is. Gosh. Actually, I do have something that can prove it. I have all the evidence I need. Dang it! No, I have the evidence! I have it! No, I have the evidence. I have the evidence. Don't do this. I have it. Thank you, Mia, for saving me. I have the evidence. Yes, I do have the evidence. I know, I, I keep saying I have the evidence, I have the evidence, but I do! I mean, I know what it is. It's, it's as I even said early in the video, it's the, um, the passport. That's the evidence that you need. Because, remember, she went to Paris, and... Uh, well, it, this is supposed to be placed in Japan, so I think it's like 12 or so many hour difference. But I don't think it actually says what time it is, or where this is actually placed. I don't know. I always figured it was Japan. Why they make anime. Wait, they don't make anime. They make... Uh, oh, that's a live action show. <laughs> Never mind. Yes. Sorry about how long this video is going on for. Uh, I promise my other videos will not be this long. I, I guarantee they will not. I will cut them off. I'm just making this one an extra long one so that you guys can kind of, you know, get into it and all that. But I promise they will not be, they will not all be this long. This is the evidence you need. As you can see, she was in Paris. Yo! Time difference between here and Paris is nine hours. 4 p.m. there, it's 1 a.m. the next day there. I'd have to actually look up, I can probably go through and all that and figure that out. enough for you. So the clock isn't what is it? The clock isn't four hours wrong. It's nine hours wrong. And he passed out. I win! I win! Yay! Ugh. That was a good one right there. That was... I, I do like this this first opening one. It's long, though. It's 40 minutes. I've already 
been doing this for 40 minutes, but it doesn't feel it. <laughs> I swear, it feels like I've only been playing for maybe like a two or three minutes, like just a couple of minutes. He was arrested and been taken away, Your Honor. Yep. I am incredible, people. I solved it. No, nah, but seriously, this one actually is very easy. This is one of the easier cases. Um, there are some cases out there. That, there are some cases that are like, every time I try and do them, it's really hard to do. Um, I think it's the next one. I almost always get confused at it. But, yeah, we got the not guilty, which is what we wanted. Hooray! Uh, you o I think you almost always want to get not guilty because of your defendant. There's one case where your client is clearly not guilty and it's proven he's not guilty but he's still in danger for some reason it, it, it's proven that he couldn't be the one who did it yeah see and he was a thief and all that but when just happened to yeah whatever He let himself in, do his dirty work, and she caught him at home, and he killed her. That That's something I don't get, is like, it said that he f grabbed the nearest blunt object, but then you get something that kind of contradicts that in just a few minutes here. We're going to get something that contradicts that entire statement. So, yeah. Yep, and we're all celebrating. We're going to go out and get some burgers. Speaking of which, that's actually what I'm having for dinner tonight is burgers. Turkey burgers, actually. I love turkey burgers. They're good. I think my wife is fixing them right now. Speaking of my wife, if you have not yet, and you are actually subscribed to my channel, you might want to go over and check out her channel, which me and her do Let's Plays together. We just recently, as of me recording this video, have just recently completed a Let's Play of Crash Bandicoot, although not all those videos are up. So by the time we, I'm uploading this, she hasn't uploaded all the videos of the Crash Bandicoot, but we've already finished it. So, yeah. I like that. <laughs> Good. Wait. No. What? I mean, <laughs> bad, 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 bad. Oh, gosh. It's like, he's innocent. Case closed. Cindy Windy. I would never, if I ever dated, if I was with someone whose name was Cindy, I would never call them Cindy Windy. She's the one who starts calling him Harry Butts. I forgot about that. I thought it was the cop. I think he does. I think I think the cop does call him Harry Butts. Harry Butts in his hand. Oh god. I love the I love the humor in this game. I really do. It's so hilarious. Like let's celebrate dinner, movie, my treat. It's like that depends on the movie. Yeah, seriously, dude. And and you find out that he's the one who actually made these clocks. So that's actually pretty neat. I like that. So that means, he, good lord, that means he knows about sculpting, electronics, all kinds of good things. He's smart. Now, if these clocks were, like, synced up, that would be sweet. And she just went playing for a fool. Yeah, it does, kind of. Oops, skipped a little bit, but whatever. Excuse me? 
<laughs> I actually have used that saying, "Excuse me, in real life. I, I finally remember now where I got it from, and it was this game. Oh gosh, I'm so st I feel like an idiot at times. Just uh, yeah, you get to use evidence to proves how she felt about him. Yeah, we gotta prove that he lo that she loved him, which t t honestly I think that it's the statue. It's rather heavy. Check this out. You weren't just some chump to her. Then why would she have sugar daddies? Well, though, then again... Nah, I don't want to bring that up. Surprisingly, this has actually been fairly clean. I'm probably going to ha have this one be a fairly clean Let's Play. Well, I don't think I could see myself actually swearing a whole lot in this. Um, yeah, I, I don't think I would. No reason to swear in it. And I'm kind of ignoring what they're saying <laughs> right now. Uh, I don't think we're getting paid by him either. Yep, and that's the end of the first chapter. Well, almost. I do. As a tutorial level, it's not bad. I kind of like it. Um, but, as I said, there are better cases out there and actually more fun ones. But in the next case, we'll get to the real meat and potatoes of this game. Not just the courtroom setting, but doing, uh, doing, the, actual, uh, doing the actual investigation, which I'm not sure if lawyers actually do that. If they do, leave a comment down below to tell me if they actually do do... Do do. <laughs> if they actually do field work like in this game. I'm not sure they do. I'm pretty positive lawyers don't do that. I think it's cops that do that mostly. And my dog is now sliding underneath my, my desk. She probably wants attention. Isn't that right, lady? Yeah, my dog's name is Lady. Giving her pats and uh, petting her. Oh, gosh. Yep, I wanted to be a lawyer because of hairy butts. Eh, that's never going to happen. Well, ever... Oh, it's not over yet. Gosh. Yeah, it is good to have friends. I need more friends. I don't have any real friends. I'm alone. Oh, I think this... I might invite my wife to play this game with me. Me and her seem to actually kind of build off of each other and all that. Who knows? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. I might bring her in as a guest star every so often. I kind of like th that thought of that. We'll see. Yep, and that is the end of that one. So, everyone, now that we have finished the first case, the first turnaround, I might add, after you complete each one, um, a picture comes up. Okay, so the next one is called Turnabout Sisters. Yeah, a new episode has been added. But I'm going to leave it off here. So, everyone, this has been Mr. Kotor X, and remember, it's no point being an adult if you can't act childish from time to time, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye!